dear students in this session we will discuss marginal efficiency of capital m is in short form m is now in the previous class to find out the present value to find out the present value of future income streams we started with the, an expected income stream an expected income stream and a particular discount rate a particular discount rate income stream r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 discount rate 4% 5% 6% etc suppose now that the cost of capital good is given suppose that the cost of capital good is given that is this present value present value is the cost of purchasing the capital today it is given suppose also that discount rate is sorry cost of capital good is given suppose also that income stream also is given now income stream is given present value or the cost of capital good is given what is not given is discount rate now in this case we want to find out the discount rate that will make the present value of the income stream produced by the capital good just equal to the cost of capital good let me repeat in this case we want to find out the discount rate i we want to find out the discount rate which will make the present value of the income stream produced by the capital good just equal to the cost of capital good so present value is r1 by 1 plus i plus r2 by 1 plus i square plus r5 by 1 plus i raised to 5 present value is given cost is given these quantities are given so we want to find out the value of i such that such that the present value is equal to the cost of the capital goods so instead of writing pv we write it as c cost of capital goods we want to find out we want to find out the discount rate which equates the present value of the income stream from the capital goods just equal to the cost of capital so the cost of capital is given r1 r2 r5 is given we have to find out the value of i such that r1 by 1 plus i plus etc r5 by 1 plus i raised to 5 is equal to c and uh, we use the notation i as the discount rate to distinguish it from r the market rate of interest both are both are different this is a discount rate now suppose that the capital good will cost 432.94 as we have seen in the previous class and the expected income stream from the next 5 years is 100 each 100 each now we equate 432.94 is equal to 100 by 1 plus i plus etc 100 by 1 plus i raised to 5 cost of capital good is given expected income flow is given what is not not given is i but when we solve this 
you will get i as equal to 5 plus x i as equal to 5 plus x so for a given income stream for a given income stream uh, higher the price of goods lower is the value of i lower uh, the price of goods higher the value of i that we have seen if i is high sorry if uh, the, the if uh, if the price of the cost of capital good is this i is 5% if the cost of capital good is less than this as we have seen in the previous class if if uh, it is for uh, uh, 121 i is 6% whereas if it is 445 it is 4% and the like now Keynes calls this discount rate i as marginal efficiency of capital in the form of a quotation in solving for the rate that will make the present value of the return from my capital goods just equal to its cost we have found the rate that keynes called mec so when we when we solve i mean when we uh, solve this equation for i such that the present value of the income stream is equal to the cost of capital we have found a rate and this rate is called by keynes as mec and this rate this discount rate is nothing but the income flow expected from the capital good for example if the machine can be purchased for this price ensuring incomes 100 x for 5 years the return is 5% if it can be purchased at a lower price, return is 6%. If the price is high, return is 4%, etc. And let me quote the definition given by Keynes. I define MEC as being equal to that rate of discount, which would make the present value of the series of annuities, annuities, 100, 100, etc given by the returns expected from the capital goods during its life just equal to its supply price. So MEC is nothing but the rate of return expected from a capital goods. MEC is nothing but the rate of return expected from a capital goods. The definition is I define MEC as being equal to that rate of discounts which would make the present values of the series of annuities given by the returns expected from the capital good during its life just equal to its supply price. That is the original definition given by Keynes. In simple words, MEC is the rate of return expected from the capital goods. So we can compute MEC for any capital goods given cost and also expected income stream. Given the cost and also the expected income stream, we can calculate the MEC. Now, once MEC is calculated, we compare MEC with the market rate of interest. If MEC is greater than market rate of interest, MEC is high. I is greater than our investment is profitable. If I is less than our investment is not a profitable. Now we have three elements together. Income flow expected from my capital goods, supply price of the capital and market rate of interest. These three things together determines whether an investment is profitable or not. Suppose that there is an improvement in business outlook. In that case, entrepreneurs will revise their expectations about the future income flow. And if R1, R2, etc., R5 increases, but the cost of capital remains same, 
i the rate of discount the return expected from the capital would increases suppose that there is no change in the income flow but the cost of capital would decreases again mac increases but remember this a change in r will not affect mac because these are two different concepts but suppose that if r was greater than i before r decreases but after a decrease in r r less than i then investment will increase because more investment projects will become profitable so this is the keynesian theory of this is the nutshell of the keynesian theory so in the keynesian theory of investment investment depends on three factors income flow expected from the capital goods the supply price the cost of purchasing the capital goods and the market rate of interest now while discussing the theory of income and output determination we have pointed out that the volume of employment the volume of employment output income etc depends on propensity to consume and inducement to invest propensity to consume or volume of aggregate demand depends on consumption demand and investment demand and this propensity to consume is relatively stable relatively stable so fluctuations in the level of employment output etc depends on fluctuations in the inducement to invest and inducement to invest depends on two things as we have just discussed one is the rate of interest and the other one is mec rate of interest and mec and as we have seen rate of interest is relatively stable we do not expect considerable year to year fluctuations in the rate of interest so fluctuations in investment is caused by mec and as we have just explained mec depends on two things one is mec depends on two things one is the supply price of capital or the cost of capital the other one is prospective return prospective return or the return expected from the capital goods we assume that in the short run the cost conditions are such that cost of capital goods will not vary considerably so the prospective return is the crucial factor determining the level of employment in the short run so instability of employment and output is the result of unstable character of prospective return from capital assets remember this prospective return is not equal to actual return it is the return expected by the entrepreneurs from an investment goods during its lifetime and it depends on business expectations business expectations and we expect that uh, business expectations are subject to violent fluctuations business expectations are subject to violent fluctuations and uh, fluctuations in business expectations is the ultimate cause of ultimate cause of fluctuations in employment output income etc so employment income output depends on consumption demand and investment demand this is stable this depends on two this is stable depends on two this is stable so the ultimate cause of instability business fluctuations 
in a capitalist economy according to keynes is instability in business expectations instability in business expectations that is it that is mec and the role of mec in investments